caro espectador Saravá, aqui é João Vicente, o show livre.com veio ao ensaio de Emma Kulok no Garage Studio. O vocalista do Echo and the Bunnymen veio lançar seu novo disco no Brasil e a gente vai dar uma palavra com ele a respeito. Fica ligado. Along with that album, you also released uh, a live record, yeah. right? So you had time to also release a live record. Well, the live record is pretty much what, what the gigs at the weekend will be like. It's the same, pretty much the same running order with some new songs as well. And we, it was, it was from a gig last year, and it was we played the Liverpool Cathedral, which is a massive cathedral in in Liverpool, obviously. It's absolutely beautiful. I couldn't believe when we listened to the to the tapes. It was like that was that. Because I knew the gig was good, but we didn't do any overdubs on it. It's just exactly how it was, and and I, it made me want to do more solo solo gigs like that. And that's it's basically the same lineup for Brazil. But, uh, the official release of this record, like the the concert release, um, you're you're doing it first in Brazil, then doing it in England, right? Yeah. So you almost feel like a Brazilian. Well, yeah. <laughs> um, unfortunately, I, I don't play football like a Brazilian. But when I was younger, I was I was okay. I was more more Jorginho than Pele. Um, but yeah, I've, I've always loved to come to Brazil. So it will be the first time any of the new songs from the album will be played live, and it's it's a thrill to be able to because I know Brazilians, the the feel. It's not just hearing or, or watching, they actually feel the songs, you know. I just think it's the right country to play new songs in, so. She will answer the word of every lie you've heard. First I'm gonna make it, then I'm gonna break it till it falls apart. Hating all the faking and shaking while I'm breaking your brittle heart. Billy Stan. And Leonard Cohen and I don't know, Iggy Poppy were uh, always mentioned as your influences. Yeah. But right now, what plays in your iPod? I don't have an iPod. Okay, but if you do. Terrible, honestly, I have a terrible little ghetto blaster which doesn't blast ghettos. It's about. It couldn't even blast this room, never mind a ghetto. Um, but it's my favourite little thing, you know, to just put. Um, but it, it, to be honest, it's my album because I've been, I have to check things back. I, I'm working for the last three or four months, I've, it's been nothing but that. But it will always be Bowie, Lenny Cohen, they're the, and, and the Velvet Underground. But Hunky Dory is, is a massive album. And with, with Lenny Cohen, I, He's he's taught me more about the kind of songs I'd like to write than anyone. Because his songs, not every song he writes, but he writes in a certain style, and I've discovered my style as well through through realizing that it it's not about trends or fashion or anything. Or Bowie was brilliant, always kind of setting the trends, but. I just think with Lenny Cohn's songs and, and Bowie's greatest songs, they're timeless, you know, so um, so they're the things I, I like to listen to. And some Bob Dylan as well now. And, and plus I've got a little daughter, two years old. I've got two other daughters, but I've got a two-year-old daughter, so a lot of it is nursery rhymes. There's a song on the album that started out Before she was born, I just had this melody singing to the child that was about to be born. And it's called Lift Me Up, it's the same song. And so a lot of it revolves around what she wants to hear. She's always saying, Dad, songs, Dad. And she points at the little non ghetto blaster and says, Dad, Daddy. Yes, she says, Daddy, Daddy, songs. And she wants to hear my album, which is, uh, that's a, a breakthrough, you know. Then I'm gonna make it, then I'm gonna break it till it falls apart. Hating all the faking and shaking while I'm breaking your brittle heart. Brittle heart. 
Little heart, little heart.